Hello, Stratters. Bob Gar here with $10 Deck. This week we're going to look at a white blue humans list in modern, 943 online, $112 in paper. And it's it's about what you'd expect. I chose Champion of the Parish as kind of the highlight card just because it's the biggest human synergy. It gets, it gets big really quick. A lot of times you're swinging for three damage on turn two. I call it a human stack. There are really only two things that make it a human stack, and that's Champion of the Parish and Thalia's Lieutenant. Those are the kind of only human combo pieces. Champion of the Parish gets a plus one plus one counter whenever a human enters the battlefield, and Thalia's Lieutenant gets a plus one plus one counter whenever a human enters the battlefield as well, except it costs one more mana, but when it enters the battlefield, it also puts a plus one plus one counter on any humans that you already control. So yeah, these guys are great. They, they can become big threats very quickly if your opponent doesn't have a way to deal with them. And then we have a whole bunch of one-drop humans. So two Mardu War Reapers, he's probably the weakest of, of our one-drop humans, although he's pretty aggressive, which is nice. Fourth Raven Inspector is just to help us uh, cash in a clue and get some value. for Soldier of the Pantheon, this guy is good and aggressive and has a few more cool abilities than somebody like Mardu War Reaper. The protection from multicolored is oft often pretty important. Uh, he can't be Abrupt Decayed, for instance, or Maelstrom Pulsed. He also gets to swing by a bunch of things that you'll sometimes see in the format, like Voice of Resurgence. Uh, Student of Warfare, to round things out, I only run three of him because you don't want too many mana sinks. It doesn't feel very good to have a lot of him in your hand, but you want like one of him you know, in any given in any given game, just so you have something to put mana into that becomes a big threat. And then our bigger creatures. So three Thalia, Guardian, Guardian of Thraben, uh, four Reflector Mage, and two Lie of Sky Knight. Yeah, so Thalia is great. It keeps your opponent, one of your biggest fears is your opponent wiping your board, and she slows your opponents down by a turn from doing that. Uh, it also just makes it harder to even single target remove any of your creatures, especially without removing her first. Path to Exile becomes much worse if it's a two mana card. Uh, Reflector Mage, as we saw in the previous video, is just a super powerful effect. Uh, if you curve out into him on turn three, a lot of times you have uh, five or six power on the board on turn three, and this you know will often bounce your opponent's only blocker and keep him from replaying it the next turn. So that's pretty powerful. Uh, Sky Knight's a little similar to Reflector Mage. It keeps a given creature for blocking for a turn if you use it on a creature, but you can also use it on Planeswalkers, which is pretty cool, and then because it has flying, you can swing in the air against him. We only run two because the, the effect is not quite as powerful as Reflector Mage, and at one toughness, it just gets killed by so much. Like, it'll, they'll just, like, electrolyze him plus Dahlia turn four or something, and you'll feel super blown out. So, yeah, th those are the bigger creatures. And then the Nombos. So these, I, I said Nombos because uh, these are non-creature spells, so with Thalia, they don't work super well. Brave the Elements, all of our creatures are white, even though we're, we're splashing blue for things like Reflector Mage. Uh, this, that Reflector Mage is still a white card, so it still gets hit by Brave the Elements. Re Brave the Elements gives all your creatures protection from a single color for one mana, basically. Uh, so this can be, you know, just can protect against a single target removal spell if it's important, or it can save your whole team from damage-based wipes, or lots of things like that. Uh, it can make combat a nightmare. Uh, you can go to block and just totally blow your opponent out and murder all their creatures. You can go to attack and just make it so none of their creatures can block easily. Uh, so it's very powerful. Uh, for Smuggler's Copter, Smuggler's Copter is a super, super good card. That's the reason it was banned in Standard, but we get to play it in Modern, so it's great for us. Uh, usually if you put this down, your opponent will try to kill it quickly, but it gives the, even though it's not a human, it gives the deck a lot of options. So it helps you filter out lands in the late game, which you really don't want to hit. It flies, so it can get in when some of your humans get chumped on the ground, and it doesn't die to creature wipes. So, you know, when they wipe it, you you're probably won't be animated because like, most wipes are sorceries, so it'll most likely stick around, and the next time you get a creature out, you'll have a hasted 3-3 that'll also loot you, hopefully, away from lands and into more action. Uh, and then for Gather the Townsfolk, uh, this card is not that good in the deck, but it's, it's nice to have some token generation, and because it generates human tokens, if you do this turn two, you obviously get to put, and you, ha and you played uh, Champion of the Parish turn one, you get to make him a 3-3 right away. So yeah, it combos nicely with Champion of the Parish and Thalia's Lieutenant to, to get lots of one, plus one plus one counters on your guys, with also while building out this little army of 1-1s one that you can later cast Brave the Elements on so they can get in for damage too, or just chump block or whatever you need to do. And so that's non-land cards, and there's the land cards, so pretty simple. Uh, 12 planes, 4 islands, because we're really just splashing blue, and then uh, 4 glacial fortresses. So I actually added glacial fortress a little late. I ran the deck once or twice, 
I've, I've played two of the, of the of the five games I'm gonna do with the deck so far, and the first two I ran without Glacial Fortresses, I think I had two more planes and two more islands, and then I realized that the deck was actually only like six dollars, so I was like, well, might as well put in some decent lands. <laughs> It'll make the games a little easier. There were definitely some times where I got a little stuck on the mana I needed, and this this helps smooth that out a little bit. So yeah, four Glacial Fortress, um, to help to help the the blue splash, and then finally our sideboard. Uh, a lot of this is going to look the same as a lot of the decks. Uh, Ghost Quarters is great against Tron. We're only running two, but hopefully that's enough. Two Tormod's Crypt. Uh, it's a little less important than it used to be, just because I'm not seeing nearly as much dredge after the uh, banning of uh, Golgari Gear Troll. One extra Brave the Elements in cases where that is a really, really important card. Two Fragmentize as Artifact and Enchantment remo Removal. Three Meddling Mage. Meddling Mage is a really interesting card. It's a human, so it, it plays very nicely with... Thalia and the other human synergies we have, and it has a ability to make it so your opponent can't cast a named card. So this is very, very powerful against combo decks, and also against decks that are going to run a lot of sweepers. It at least forces them to have single target removal before they can sweep you. So I'll often name Supreme Verdict with him and just keep them, you can't counter Supreme Verdict, but you can keep them from casting it. Uh, or, you know, if you're against Ad Nauseam, naming Ad Nauseam with him often just keeps them from winning the game if they didn't sideboard in their creature removal. So yeah, he's pretty powerful. Banisher Priest, as expected. I, I went with him instead of Fiend Hunter because you actually do kind of want to get in damage with this deck, so even the extra one point of power is pretty important. And obviously his ability is powerful when you can stick into the board. So if you're in a matchup where you know your opponent is just going to try to rush you down and have almost no removal, uh, Banisher Priest is an easy add-in. You know, if they're playing... I guess Zoo does have a lot of removal, but you know, some kind of aggro deck that you know is going to mostly be... Uh, creature based. Banisher Priest can be pretty good to, to stop their creatures and, and help you get your th creatures through. And then two Mass Appeal. Uh, should I have put Mass Appeal in the deck? I have no idea. I, I don't know when, when I actually sideboard this in. I guess you sideboard it in in kind of grindy matchups where you're grinding hard but your opponent also doesn't have a lot of removal which doesn't sound like a lot of the matchups out there so maybe this is a bad sideboard card but i just love the draw card equal to the number of humans you control it's just super sweet uh it seems like it has a place in in a human deck even though it didn't make the main board uh so yeah that's the deck i'm gonna play some games with it i hope you enjoy this is more of a straightforward deck i felt like i should do some aggro decks because the last I think pretty much all the decks I've done so far have either been combo decks or dirtily decks, and they've all been pretty slow, and this deck should be much faster, I think. So, still interesting, still a little weird, still not really quite an aggro deck. It's almost a little bit like a tempo deck. It does rely on a little bit things like uh, swinging in the air for the last couple points of damage, or bouncing their creatures with uh, Reflector Mage or the Sky Knight, but... Is, it is kind of aggro. It'll often win on turn four if if not uh, interfered with, and even if interfered with, it'll often win on turn five. So, yep, that's the deck. I uh, hope you enjoy. I'll play some games. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Hello, Stratters. Bobgar here with a $10 deck. We're playing some white blue humans in modern, and we're going to see what we can do. I think this is not the best hand I've ever seen, but I think it's a keep. Hello. Good luck. Being on the draw is not where we want to be as an aggro deck, but we'll see what he is. He is... Thoughtseize? Oh, Inquisition. Reflector Mage, maybe? Don't know what he'll take. He took Reflector Mage. All right, that's that's what I assumed. All right, well, we'll see if he has a removal spell. I think uh, Champion of the Parish is where we want to be. Doomblade or something? No. Sure. Alright, swing on in, takes it, fortunately given that he played Scavenge Gears he probably has more kill spells here, I'm assuming he has, yeah, Corrupt Decay, sure, gave me some life, that seems fine. Um, okay, I think I bash here, Let's see what he does can't uh, eat anything because he doesn't have the right mana. He paths one. Sure. Yeah, I'll go find... I'll just get a planes, I guess. I don't really need blue. No blocks. Seems good. Alright. Raven Inspector. Land. Pass turn. It's up to three, four mana. Please 
to I guess it doesn't know what he wants to do. Okay, he eats my guy from the graveyard, that's fine. He takes the damage to do it. He does not even attack. Alright, well, I mean he's right, I'm gonna break the clue, and I guess then in response he can kill something. He does not. Sure. Oh, I'm super flooded this game, unfortunately. I don't think it makes sense to attack here. I should wait until I have a little bit more beef on the battlefield. Um, if he has a sweeper, I'll be in a little trouble. Three mana. Sure, gains me some life. Seems fine. Pass turn. Draw something good, please. Nope, more land. All right, well, I see how this game is going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven out of... It's almost half my land and less than a quarter of my deck. So I think we're probably just going to lose here. This is... I haven't seen blue from him, but I would think this would be the uh, knight combo deck. I could also swing here, give my guys... buff my guys' resistance, but I don't think that's going to work super well, so I'll just pass... I just gotta draw. I have a bunch of cards that get me out of this pretty well. It's just I need to draw them. Um, he still can't really attack in easily because of the uh, of the elements either. So okay, he cracks that. That buffs his uh, knight up. He does not attack. Please draw something, anything. All right, that's something. That is actually pretty good. I'm going to leave the planes in hand because I would like to discard it to Smuggler's Copter anyway. Destroys land to find another land. Sure, that's fine. I'm at 24 life. I'm not even that scared of that guy getting big. He can't block my flyer anyway. Breaks his land. Makes his uh, Knight of the Reliquary yet bigger. Ten plays. Ooh, I don't know this guy. This guy looks spicy. When Renegade Rallyer enters the battlefield, if a permit you control off the battlefield this turn, return target permit with convenient two or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. So what's he gonna get back? Uh, permanent. So he just gets a land back. Probably a Horizon Canopy, I would guess. Gains me some life. <coughs> sure. Seems fine. Horizon Canopy, sure. Just attacks, no attacks. Oh, he just gets, he doesn't get that. He gets a uh, Windswept Heat. That's also fine. Alright. Welp. I will crew this by using my Thraven Inspector, I guess. Maybe he has a uh, path forward or something. Maybe that's one of the four cards he has left. If it is, I'm in bad shape. I drew another land, which is just, again, super, super unlucky, given how many lands I have in the deck. But things happen. Okay, breaks that. That's fine. That doesn't do much. Or maybe he has a two-mana kill spell. Unfortunately, Brave the Elements is a non-bow with Smuggler's Copter. Goes to nine. So presumably he has something here. Fatal push. Yep, fatal push, sure. Uh that gets me. That's fine. I mean it's unfortunate, but what are you gonna do? I'm I've just been drawing super poorly. Um Yep. I mean he runs a lot more lands than me and he obviously hasn't even been drawing them, so He's gonna have to attack me at some point. He's getting himself to a pretty low life total. I don't, I don't see any trample over there yet. Alright. He can produce a fair amount of mana with the Cobra plus uh, Knight. Three mana, another Knight, that's fine. I'm up to 28 life. Alright, well, he's not doing a whole lot, fortunately. I just need to draw, though, anything other than. So I could murder this here if I wanted to. No, I can't, because he'll just uh, 
tap, destroy one of these, get a green, eat a creature. Oh, there's no, are there any creatures left to eat? No, there are no creatures left to eat. So I could successfully kill this, but I don't think it's worth it. I'm at 28 life. I'm fine just taking four. All right, draw well for once. Well, there certainly were straws. I'll play that down. Pass turn. He has. He's playing to something. Eternal witness to get back. Probably abrupt decay, then kill a land to be able to abrupt decay my smuggler's copter, is my guess. Oh, he gets back fatal push. Sure, that's fine too. And he has enough up to fatal push something. Sure, that's that's totally fine. Oh, he fatal pushes now. Ooh, interesting. Uh, that's fine. I'll take that. Attack all. No, he holds that one back. Sure. I mean, I think it's probably time to breathe the elements. Uh, the downside is, so I take 11, kill the 3-2. It doesn't feel great, but I don't know if there's a better, it's gonna be, I don't know if there's going to be a better time to do it at this point. So, cast, get protection from green, go to blocks, block, block, sure. Alright, I draw, hey, that's a guy I can use. Uh, I'm going to start by curing this with this. Hacking in, seeing what I get. Yeah, I'll use this ability. I get a land. Jeez. Oh, that's bad luck. Okay, goes to five. Second main. Actually, um, I don't know if I should have done that or not. Probably shouldn't have, just so that I didn't have to kill this guy. Uh, I can level him up a whole bunch, I guess. There's no reason not to. I have nothing else to spend my mana on. All right, um, pass turn. I think I'm losing this game, but I'm losing it slowly at least. I'll have to do a calculation to see if I can survive with a single block. Uh, the student does make it hard for Eternal Witness and Lotus Cobra to attack favorably. Unless he has a kill spell for it or something, which he very well might, I mean. But if I can live two turns, I win, so. And I wouldn't usually draw quite um, this many. 7, 13. So I have to block one of those, but I think I only have to block one. Okay, sure, another Lotus Cobra, that's fine. Okay, so he attacks like that. Sure. Jump here. Oh, does he have enough? Maybe he does. Five. That's twelve. Oh, he does have enough. All right, fair enough. Goes quarters himself to get an extra lane in his graveyard, and now he has enough to beat me. So I guess I needed to block with both. All right. Well, that's all right. I I was not winning that game probably anyway. Uh, yeah, that was a pretty lucky draw from him I think, and an incredibly bad draw from me. I will definitely bring in meddling mage. I think I'll take out Thalia. I don't think he had enough targets for it. I still like that. I think I'll put in mass appeal. The oh, I think I'll take out War Reaper actually. I was gonna I was gonna say that the uh Brave the Elements didn't feel good, but it still feels good to have a couple Brave the Elements. I could put in Tormod's Crypt, but I'm not sure it's worth it. That's the only thing I'm like wondering about, because that does make him get rid of all his lands. I think I'm running it like this. Uh, yeah, I had really bad luck too. I didn't draw any of these guys, and I drew something like over 50% of my lands in, in the first 20 cards. So, running a little weak. It ha it's gonna happen occasionally, um, but it's fine. I'm upping my curve a little bit against him, which I, I think on the the play makes sense anyway. But 
but yeah, I think also just some of the cards that I, I have that are good against him happen to be on the play type cards. And he didn't seem to have any mass removal, so mass appeal feels good to me if I can get it off. I mean, it felt like a grindy game, and if I had had one or two reflector mages or one or two extra smugglers, copters, or meddling mages, or sky knights, or any of that stuff, I would have been in much, much better shape. All right. I'll go first. I think I'll keep this. I'm not sure if it's good, but it's definitely kind of explosive. Okay, I came back. Sweet. goes to 16. Does he go lower? Does he have Abrupt Decay is my guess? He does. He goes to 14, probably to Abrupt Decay champion. Oh, fiddle push him. Sure, that works too. No other plays. Pass his turn. Oh, the knight is going to be good, but I need to draw my blue mana. Now the question is, would I rather have more... I think I'd actually rather have more of these soldiers be pumped. Although I guess if he has no, they they're immune to uh, Maelstrom Pulse. They mean to a lot of his spells and removal. All right, back to six. All right, pass turn. Protection from multicolor puts him in a slightly hard position here. A lot of his deck is multicolor. Yeah, he scoops it. He goes, yeah, can't beat that one. All right, perfect. Um, that worked out really well. I'm going to keep the same, same list going. Uh, I did need to draw an island there, but that will happen. GG. I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. I didn't say GG to the, when he won, so I'm not going to say GG when I won. I often say GG when either of us win, but it sounds a little douchey if I say it only when I win. <laughs> But that's the power of this deck. If this deck gets a good draw and your opponent stumbles slightly, you can just run them over sometimes. Um, it can do a lot of damage very quickly. Uh, and on top of the fact that a lot of decks in modern damage themselves with their mana base, uh, you, can, you can kind of use that to propel yourself to uh, good results. Um, I think I'll keep this. I need one land to make it decent, but I still think it's a keep. I might actually play out Parish first to avoid Inquisition, because I think that's the scariest thing he has. Ooh, that was not a good draw. So I have both of my uh, three of the elements. Beetle Bush. Okay. No, I'm drawing super poorly this game. So I think I'm going to lose this game. I just need one land to do anything useful. And preferably white, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, I mean, I still have a chance. If I draw land this turn and can reflect your mage, I'm in pretty good shape. Another fatal push? Sure. Alright, so he fatal push two of my creatures. What does he have in response? Knight? No kitchen finks. That's interesting. Well, that wasn't the worst draw. So I want to stop, oh, what Knight of the Reliquary. Knight of the Reliquary, okay. He has a removal spell for it, it sucks, but what are you going to do? Sure. I might just want to take Reflector Mage, it's probably the strongest card I have. Yep, that is what he takes. You got Ghost Quarters too, sure. I'll take two off this guy, that's not a big deal at all. 
Hey, we finally got a lay-in, just in time to not be able to use it very well, but that's fine. Um, I think I'll keep up three of the elements. I don't think I need it, but I think I'll keep it up anyway. I mean, I can give both of them protection from whatever your color removal spell he has seems worth it. No attacks. Sure, getting back Fatal Push, I would guess. I'm guessing he's getting back Fatal Push. No, he's getting back Inquisition. Oh, that's interesting. And then he Inquisitions me immediately. Probably taking Mass Appeal, I guess? I don't actually know. Oh, it takes one of my two copies of Brave the Elements. Sure. The Mass Appeal at this point is just a draw to. So there's that. I guess I don't attack here. I'd rather keep up with the elements in case he has some shenanigans. Only has one card in the end. No attacks from him either. Alright, my turn. Draw. So let me crew with this guy. See if he has a removal for it. If he does, that's fine. gonna path it in response to that. Okay, sure. I'll get, I think I need another white. Yes. Um, well, downside, Fletcher Mage isn't looking super good here. I could actually just, uh, Mass Appeal feels like it's gonna be good in a turn or two though. Maybe I just discard Champion of the Parish, but that feels pretty bad too. I think I just got a champion of the parish. And hold up, uh, hold up three of the elements if he attacks. He drew one card. Goes to combat. Swings in. Sure, I'll take that. Engineered explosives on one. Sure. And that's uncolored, so I can't get around that with the student of warfare with that. That's fine. Alright. Um I think I bounce Kitchen Finks. Can't cast it next turn. Get that out of there. Swing on in with a uh, Meddling Mage. Alright. I don't want to do that because he's going to have to set that off. I think I I think I will just mass appeal here. It's not the greatest mass appeal ever, but it'll probably force him to set off his uh, engineered explosives to kill Student of Warfare. Sure. So I only draw two. So it's just a definition. Oh, does he have another removal spell? Um, I guess I'll brave the elements. Alright. Um, let's get in with this guy. Okay. He's gonna get a 3 2 lifelink dude out. Yeah, take two, and then he plays this guy. Hopefully, he doesn't have anything else. Hopefully, he didn't draw another removal. Hopefully, he has something worse than that. Kitchen drinks, that's the one I knew about. Gains a little life, but that's fine. Okay, you pass 
is. Um, would I rather have a lot of tutus? Probably not. I probably want to play Soldier of the Pantheon since he can profitably block Kishin Finks forever. Then play Thalia's Lieutenant to buff all those up. And then play Gather the Townsfolk to buff up Thalia's Lieutenant. Or I could play. Um, it's just a matter of whether I play this or Smuggler's Copter. I actually think I'll play Smuggler's Copter. I think it's more important for me. And if his last card is removal, he'll get me a little bit, but that's fine. Takes it, sure. Lotus Cobra is fine. play Gather the Townsfolk no matter what. Um, this guy can swing in because it has to be blocked by that. This guy can swing in. This guy can't swing in anyway, and this guy can't swing in anyway. Um, let's crew this the token. I guess he can double block this and it's a little annoying. He probably would actually. I still think I swing with it. I definitely swing with this because I don't think there's any profitable. Well, I can, he can block with either of those two. It's just a matter of what I want to attack with, right? He has a chance of killing a bunch of things, but I don't know how much I care. Do I, do I attack with all of these just to put the pressure on? Or do I wait a turn? This has to get something good. Kitchen Finks can't block this, but it'll just trade one for one with one of those two, which doesn't feel good. Uh, Kitchen Finks has to block with something else to get this, and then I get to kill that other thing and get a thing off Kitchen Finks. Yeah, let's just do all three. That's fine. Yes. Sure. Okay. So trades here, this kills this, I get in 6 damage but he gains back 2, alright, seems fine. Pass turn. Alright, GG! So we actually uh, won the match. Wow, I did not think we were winning that match, but uh, it turned out all right. Humans got there. Uh, I had just I switched it to a slightly grindier version by putting in the uh, mass appeal and things like that, but uh, and, and the uh, meddling mages once I knew what it was up to, and it, it got there. So good. One match, one against a pretty interesting but seeming pretty good uh, Knight of the Reliquary deck. Uh, I mean, he didn't draw the Knight of the Reliquary in the second game, as far as I can tell, anyway, but. Even if he did, I, I had the Meddling Mage out to stop him, and he never used removal on the Meddling Mage, so worked out okay. All right, thanks guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Hey guys, Bobgar here. I just really wanted to quickly say, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you enjoy my content in general and would like to see more of it, subscribe. I'll be coming out with more content in the future. And please leave me comments and let me know what I'm doing right, what I'm doing wrong, both in terms of production and in terms of my play and my deck building and all that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I will see you guys next time.